Hey guys, Eugene here. Well, do you remember this thing? The True Temper Kelly Perfect Axe? Uh, you better because um, there's a video on our channel, it's gonna be popping up for you right here, uh, of the restoration of this axe. We bought, I bought this thing on eBay and uh, it was pretty banged up, made it nice, and it's a beautiful axe. It's been used in the woods, chops really well. Um, and what I'm gonna talk about in this video, however, is, uh, you guys know we make sheaths for a lot of axes and ended up making a sheath for this axe and i just wanted to kind of show the sheath show how the axe is doing and give you guys a little update so um yeah let's just check the sheath out check it out here is the sheath i'm gonna put it on so you can see what it looks like right away um, before i talk too much about it there it is there get a close look on that um it's uh, basically fully leather, you know, with some steel uh, rivets and some thread here. I think it complements this axe really well. I like the color. Uh, we have actually two different colors available. This is going to be the most prominent one. Um, there is a one of a kind also available. Uh, so you can check a link down below to Amazon and you can check that one out. And if it's gone, it's gone. But it's the first one that was ever made and it's a little bit different and it's a different color. So. Uh, you can check that out if you still uh, if it's still available but this one here uh yeah i mean you know it's kind of a classic shape that we've been sticking to uh this shape that kind of hugs the axe like this and uh, the, the the axe head and uh it's just got a snap the snap comes around like this and you know, no, nothing too complicated um it's really nice and snug on there so even without the the uh, Without the retention strap, it'll hold on there pretty well. And then to pull it off, you just have to grip it and just pull it, either do that, grip, grip it and pull down, or just grab it like that and just pull it straight back, like this. Um, and it has enough space here to make sure that the blade never catches that part there. Um, and what's specific here is it ha we have the stitching here. It's a sta saddle stitch, which means you can cut one of the threads and it still won't come apart. If you cut both of the threads, it'll start coming apart. Um, but the stitching there is to prevent you from ever damaging the blade if you do happen to chop with the sheath on. Um, it will actually, if you chop, it shouldn't hit the, the middle of the rivets because the rivet has a little stem in the middle and it's a lot smaller than the outside of the rivet. So technically if you did chop with this, it should be able to go through without damaging the bit on your axe, the head. And then we also have a welt in here, which means that between the two pieces of leather, there's another piece of leather to uh, protect the 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 thread from being cut yeah, if you do happen to chop or kind of push it in there a little bit so there's that um the fit is specifically designed for this axe i mean the, the sheath is specifically formed you can see how it has the uh, really specific you know angles here and everything and each one of these sheaths is actually made on the axe um, so it will fit perfectly uh on amazon there is a picture with the dimension of dimensions of this axe head make sure that your axe head is actually the right size to make sure that it will fit into this sheath. Um, we've had some problems with other ones where people, uh, other sheaths where people have a slightly different size axe and that doesn't work out. So we also have a maker's mark here. My dad actually hand makes these. Uh, you know, they take quite a while, while to make. Um, and you can check out a video over here uh of how these sheets are actually handmade you can see it's another sheath being made but it's the same process and you can see him at work it's a little short little kind of film about him making a sheath so you can check that out there this one's made really similarly to that um so yeah i mean that's pretty much kind of all i gotta say about it um i want you guys to please comment and like the video let me know what you think about this um you know you could pop on our channel and check out our other videos we have a lot of axe reviews a lot of other reviews of all sorts of outdoor gear um, and then we also uh, do a lot of, you know, have a lot of little trips and videos, little short films of us going to different places and such. So check our videos out. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, praise the Lord. So I'll see you guys in a future video. It's been Eugene with Rio Outdoor Gear. Thank you guys for watching. Are you still there? Yeah, you must really like the video, huh? Well, wouldn't blame you. For that, you can have tea with us.